way to Columbus to the Goodwill Bins. It has been a beautiful ride. I was just looking at these trees, how beautiful they are. You have the light green, the dark green. Just looking at the difference. It's beautiful. So, when I got to the Goodwill Bins, I did not get to film you guys. So, I just wanted you to know that we went in, we did our thing. And at the end of this clip, I'm going to show you what we got coming up. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're at the Cotton Tail in Columbus, Georgia. We stopped to get something to eat before we went across the street to the Goodwill Bins. And the Philly cheese steak was good. You got a Philly cheese steak and five wings for only $11. The wings were too salty for me, but the Philly cheese steak was going down. Paulette had the fish. It wasn't cooked well done, but she said it had a good flavor. <clears throat> so the Goodwill Bills Bins is directly across the street, so we're going to go over there and we're going to pick so guys, here's a look of, of the food. We had the Philly cheese steak, lemon pepper wings, and um, it was good as I stated, really good. Everything but the lemon pepper wings. Paulette is now showing you her meal. She had perch, shrimp with fries, and a bread roll. She said it was good. The bread, the fish wasn't cooked hard enough for her though. <clears throat> and right here is the Philly cheese steak egg roll. That was delicious. If you're ever in the area, try it out. Good day, YouTube. Welcome back to Belita's World. And today, I am coming to you guys with a haul. As you all know, I have started back up my eBay business. I finally got my business license. So I was able to go out and do some thrifting. So what we did was Wednesday, uh, Paulette and I, we went down to Columbus, Georgia. And we went to the Goodwill Outlet in Columbus, Georgia, because that's one of the nearest ones closest to us. For those of you who've never heard of a Goodwill Outlet, it is the last stop for any items in Goodwill stores before they destroy it. And you can go there and you can purchase the items by the weight. Well, in Columbus, Georgia, it's $1.69 a pound. In California, it was a dollar, I think 79 cents a pound. And on holidays, you can get it for half price. Uh, generally, I don't know, I was working full time when I was selling in California and I would go to the Goodwill Bins in Sacramento. They had two of them. I would get there and it would always be on a holiday when I went. So I would spend like 79 cents, 75 cents a pound on my items. And that's clothing, purses, shoes were a certain amount, books were 50 cents regular and 25 cents on half off day. So you get the just. So what we're going to do is um, we also went to Black Friday deals on Wednesday. Wednesday is 50 cents day at Black Friday deals. So we're going to start with what I purchased at Black Friday deals. And I'm going to show you what I got. I got ink um, cartridges pretty much and a few items. I got this, um, this filter here. Now this filter um, right here goes for $30 on eBay and I paid 50 cents for it. So um, it's a carbon, it's a practical plus carbon filter. So I'm gonna uh, put that on there it's a return now black friday deals buy truckloads of returns from amazon target walmart wherever they get truckloads of goods and then they sell them at a discount price i also got this um is it's a return item it's a return um for women breastfeeding so the front part is torn off but it's unopened. It's a, a damaged box um, breast pump. Correct fit. Choose the right size of Flanagan's for you. So this is a um, my fit Flanagan kit for mothers, as you can see, um, who breastfeed. So yeah, I will put that um, 
on eBay. These are selling, I think, for $30 as well. I paid 50 cents for it, but it's going to be um, damaged, unopened box is what it is. So I won't, I'll probably get like 25 for it, but it was only 50 cents. Next, we have open box uh, water filter, 50 cents. As you can see, still in the plastic, spank brand new. And these are going for, I think, um, uh, $20, $15, something like that. But for 50 cents, you can't beat it. It's a damaged open box, but it's uh, new. So, still in the plastic, never been used. I got another water filter, an Aquacrest water filter, 50 cents. These were on eBay, I think, for $25 um, dollars as well, but I only paid 50 cents. Now, here is ink, DTF ink. So, if anybody have any computers, you know how much ink costs, especially a big bottle like this. 50 cents, Black Friday gifts. Okay, uh, it got open on one end. Um, new, never been used, still in the plastic, ink. And this is for HP ink. So I looked and four are selling for like 69 or $79, something like that. I got quite a few of them. This one is open, an open return one. This one is unopened. So as you can see, I got quite a few of these. 50 cents each. And they're inks for H for HP um, printer. Four. Yeah, I got four of those. I got another water filter. Okay, I got some hosiery hypoallergenic vacuum bags, 50 cents. These sell for about uh, $15 on eBay. I got some more ink. I'll probably sell this one. It was 50 cents for about $12, $14. This is one color, it's yellow for a printer. And then last but not least, I got a journal, a Mormon journal. Um, I don't know what this sells for, but I'll let you know. I'll put the comp up in um, the video, but this is a Mormon's journal. I also got screen protectors. And these were selling for 10, 10 or $12 a pack. So I got three packs for 50 cents. You cannot beat that, you know. So I got three packs of the screen protectors. Now that's all that we got from um, Black Friday deals. And we're going to go over our haul at Goodwill next. Alrighty, so now we're gonna start with, let me move my camera a little bit. Now we're gonna start with the haul that we got at um, the Goodwill Bins. And the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this beautiful coat. Um, now I told Paulette to leave this coat because it has no label inside at all. It's a reversible coat. It is in great, Great, it's like spank brand new. It's very soft, 
Um, very pretty. And she insisted on getting this coat. It is a nice jacket, I have to say. Very nice jacket. But um, it don't have a size, a tag. And we went through this jacket thoroughly. It has nothing in it. But it is a perfect... Let me move the camera back a little bit. It is a perfect, beautiful nice jacket raincoat on the outside inside is nice and soft it's pretty deep royal blue a nice color woman's jacket so <clears throat> we might just give it to my daughter-in-law then again we might um sell it what we'll get for it we have no idea because once again no labels on the inside i don't know what it is but Paulette refused to leave it behind. I'm trying to teach her that. <clears throat> she's never sold on eBay, so she's opened up her own eBay store as well. So I'm trying to show, let her know that just because you like something don't mean it's going to sell. We need to look and see what the item is. What is it selling for? How many is on eBay? Are they selling? <clears throat> If you got something on there and they got 6,000 of them and only 500 sold, then you know not to buy that item because it's not going to sell. It's going to sit. So that's what I'm trying to get her to learn. And But she insisted on getting this coat because it was so nice. Somebody will enjoy it. <clears throat> so that was the first thing from the bins. <clears throat> Now, we got this um, polka dotted shirt, and polka dots are selling like crazy right now. It's called Perception Concepts. And this is the blouse here. And Paulette pulled it up, and she said this blouse was selling for $25. Um, and they only had a few online. So, uh, and out of the, I think it was eight or nine on there out of, out of the eight or nine online, uh, four had, had sold. So, uh, that was worth picking up. Now I'm new with this, so I will try and put the comps, um, alongside of this when I upload this video. Don't quote me on the child, because I, like I said, I'm new at, new at all this, as uh, far as filming what I purchased and putting it on eBay. We got these um, Talbots shorts, size four. I'll just tell you what they sell for. I can't remember, but um, we know it's going to be about $15 for these shorts <clears throat> we got these lane bryant um big girl jeans with the studs see that with the studs in them uh really nice and that's the back And the front, large girl stuff, really big women stuff really sells good on eBay. I never had a problem when I used to sell on eBay. I sold all my jeans I grew out of <laughs> and they sold quick. And my pants. This is Elaine Bryant size 24, New York City. And with the little on the feet. So yeah. Straight leg cut, not boot cut. <clears throat> we can get about $15 for those. Here is another pair of big girl jeans. These are uh, 18W. These are Gloria Vanderbilt's. You see the pocket? Nice pocket design. The little doll, her logo. And they're straight, 
nice pair of Gloria Vanderbilt's. These were selling for, I think, $18, $19. Here is another pair of Capri. I think these are Capri. Yeah, Capri pants. Gloria Vanderbilt. Big girl size we picked up. Once again, they'll sell probably for about $15. Okay. Dickies. I grabbed these. Um, these are new without tags. Never been worn. I'm like, oh my God, uh, Spain brand new pair of Dickies. Now, how do I know they new? Because the inside, you can tell they, they haven't been washed. Oh, they will be sold as new without tags. <clears throat> See that? And these are 33, 40 by 32. Men's Dickies. And they're black. So, about $15. We found these kid joggers, Adidas. Normally don't pick up kids' clothes, but these were in such... These are just like new. When I tell you, like new, the tag don't even look like they've ever been washed. But so, size seven, kids, eight, eight, size eight. And they're nice, like new Adidas. Uh, I don't know what we'll get for them. I think they were running like uh, $14 or something. But remember, it's kids, so. I told her to put this back. Oh my Lord. Paulette just keep grabbing stuff. I'm noticing she just threw stuff in here. I don't. I, I don't know what this is or what it's gonna, um, what the sell rate is. We have to look at it. I looked at it and I don't think the comps were that good on this. And I told her to put it back under armor. This is under armor, blood, sweat, respect. So who knows? Maybe we'll get a good deal for it. We'll get a decent amount for it. But she liked it, and it's a crop. It's a, it's a female's crop. All right. Hoodie. Now, these are the stretch uh, leggings. Um, and these are crown and ivy. Crown and Ivy, and they were going for, I think, $14, $15, a decent amount on eBay, and they were, the sell-through rate was pretty good when we looked it up, so we decided to grab it. Next, I'm going to clean this. I have to clean this coat is J. Crew Italian Boiled Wool. And she was going for, I think, 45 
online. So yeah, this is, see that? J. Crew Italian Boar Wool. Nice, nice pea coat. White. <clears throat> well, off white, it's cream. Hmm. Okay. Here's another Under Armour semi fitted gear. West Point, U.S. Military Academy. Under Armour. Paulette looked it up. They were going for $24 for West Point Military Academy. Hey, hey now. So hopefully we'll get a quick offer on this one. It's very, very light. This uh, at the bins wouldn't even cost us 10 cents. It's so light. Mm -hmm. And here's another Under Armour. Um, this is so salient, small. So, see the tag? Hope you can see that. Probably get about 15. We didn't have no high-end items other than the coat, I think, and one other item. This is a true me, and these were selling for uh, $20. So uh, I grabbed it. It's a large girl true me um, tie-dye, and they were selling for like $19.99, $15 to $19, $20. So I grabbed it, very light. <clears throat> large woman and it's summer and I think it'll sell. Hopefully it'll sell quickly. Oh my goodness. Now here is a new, this is new, um, Blair size 2X and sell through rate was great. Everyone, I mean, it's like for everyone, one sold. Um, I think it was only like two left for sale, and it's a jean dress, a large woman's um, 2X jean dress, button up front, new, without tags. It's a 2X button front. Really, really nice. I like that. If I could fit it, I would keep it. And that's the truth. <laughs> oh, this right here. Free people. Yes, guys. I got my first free people. And this one, little crop. Look at that. It's really, really nice. It's a knit crop. Free people, and it's a large size too. It's an oversize, and she was selling um, for. This is a small, but she was selling for. Uh, I think it was thirty four dollars on um, eBay. So I'm gonna open up my Poshmark account back up, and I'm gonna do some cross listing with Poshmark as well as eBay. Here's a Vince, Kamato, Vince. And this she, um, this is a zip up, a thermal hoodie. Cute, little waisted thermal heat hoodie. See that? And she was selling, I think for $15.99, something like that. Everything I got was selling like anywhere between um, Eleven ninety nine and up. So okay. So let's see what else we got. We still going, guys. We got a whole nother bag. 
We got two plastic bags full. We also got this right here, this pullover hoodie. Um, this is by Van Housen. Paulette insisted once again on getting this shirt. I will tell you, I don't know the comps on this one. Hopefully we can get something for it. If not, she's talking about she's going to keep it and because she loved it <laughs> um, and wear it next year since she's losing weight. I'm like, girl, we are out here trying to run a business. We're not shopping for us. We're shopping for the business. This is a cute pullover sweater, though. It really is. All right. And it's a men's Van Helsing with a zip front. Okay. I got this. Um, a Bear. I, I got this by A Bear. I'm going to show you the tag inside. They were selling for like $14.99. And I got this one because look at that. The little shingles on the bottom. And it's lightweight, easy to ship. So, and it has the little gathering on the sleeve. So I'm pretty sure we can get at least uh, $12, $15 for this one as well from what I looked up. Now we have a North, the North Face pullover, small woman. See that? So hopefully we can get $15 for her. She's in great shape. Really, really nice. Woman's pullover, active wear. North Face. And okay, that's it in this bag. Last but not least, I told her not to get the palette. I'm going to kill her. She just insists on getting stuff that's not going to sell. Hopefully this will sell. This is a RBX. This is a little like um, short tennis, short skirt set. It's, it's, the, it's, it's, you know, the legs in the bottom is shorts with the little tennis skirt. She just loved it and insisted on getting it. I told her, look at the comps. If the comps don't, don't, uh, if we're not going to make money, don't buy. So I have to look this one up because I did not think this had a good resale value on it, but I will check. That's what happened when you knew when you're reselling and you're trying to teach somebody <laughs> how to uh, purchase clothes for reselling. So we're going to put this back in the bag and I'm going to come back. And we're going to go through the second bag. All righty. So we're back. Here is the second bag. We're going to be going through that. Okay. Um, oh, my hair. It was so cute. Look at it. Wearing your hair natural is, oh, God, sometimes it's a mess. I try and make it look cute the best I can. I think I'm going to have to start going to the shop. So, all righty. We have some GH Bass and company um, pants. Paulette looked them up. They were going for like $20, $24, something like that. And they have the zipper on the side. And they're in great shape. Men's. 34 by 30. That's the label. So yeah, and the zipper on the side. So. And the back pockets, I like the way they look. 
like it's like a cargo kind of. Alrighty, here we go. We have a White House black market. White House black market. Blouse. It has a little snag here on the, the inside out part, which is fine. <sighs> this is what she looks like. A little sparkle to her. We probably can get a good $20, $24. And it's a size large. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go with a, a U.S. Polo Assassin Medium. Um, I threw it out and then put it back, threw it out, then put it back. It's a thermal. Hopefully, we can get at least $15 for it. It's new without tags. And that's what made me grab it. And here, this is a Lululemon, I think. No, LuLaRue, LuLaRue. This is a LuLaRue, medium. I thought she was cute. Comps look pretty good. Could get about $25 for her. And that's what made me grab her, LuLaRue. My first LuLaRue. No, my second, second LuLaRue. First time since I've been in Georgia. She's not a big popular brand anymore, but this, the print on this is what got me. <clears throat> LuLaRoe used to be very popular until uh, something happened where she wind up getting sued. Um, manufacturers start sending out, sending they start sending clothes and they would be mildewed and just, it, it, it became a mess. And um, sometimes when you start expanding, too fast, it can mess you up. But that was a nice brand in the beginning. Now, next, oh my goodness, yes, we have a NFL team apparel. See that? NFL team apparel, red skin. Red skin shirt. Uh, uh, it says East, red skins football. So hopefully, I've seen some comps hopefully we'll do okay with this okay next we have ceramics this is something Paulette picked up I don't know the comps for it just yet it's a sweater she said that the comps were pretty good on it. They were going for, I think she said $47. But um, I'm going to recheck those comps. Beautiful sweater. This is nice. When I tell you, it's super nice. It's like new. I'm thinking it's new without tags. This looks new without tags. No, it ain't new. It's used. I can tell it's used. Mm -hmm. Probably worn once. <sighs> okay, so these are uh, work pants that you wear over so you won't get hurt when you're working. And they have the inside, you see, it's to protect you. These are pro protecting pants. Um, chemical protection pants is what they are. So they do have a little stain on the pocket right here. A little dirt stain, I'll try and get that out. Um, I don't think it's gonna stop anyone from purchasing them because they are what they are. They're protect, uh, chemical protection um, pants. So I'm gonna try and see if we can get at least $25 for them.
Okay, here is uh, a Kato shirt. I know Kato is everywhere, but Kato, I've been following one of my young ladies on YouTube and she's been selling Kato. So she says, depending on the Kato, don't sleep on Kato because she's selling Kato for $12 and $14. So this was a cute little print. So I decided it's an extra large. Let me try it out and see what we can get. I did see some, nothing exactly like this, but close to this style. And they were selling for like 10 and $15. So we'll see. All right, here's Zara collection. Woman's basic, Zara. And she's cute too, nice. Woman's shirt, very nice. Made in Portugal. Yeah, real lightweight for the summer. Can get a good, probably $15, $20 for her. This is Zara, hopefully $24, maybe 24, who knows? And here is another Kato. I got this one because I thought it was cute. See the design, the lace in the front? And then it has the little tie in the back. And it was so cute. Um, it's an 1820. So it's a big girl, big girl like me, but a little smaller than me, but I'm pretty sure someone would love it. It's really nice, especially for the summer. Okay. Next, we have this Levi's, Levi's Relax Fit. Five five oh five fifties Relax Fit, 32, 27. And they were kind of decent, so I got them. Um, I threw them back, and then I looked at the sell-through rate, and I'm like, wait a minute, these things are selling. Let me go back and get them. So I went and I grabbed them. So hopefully we'll get uh, a good $15 for these. All right, so we have stretch classic denim. Um, just my size jeans, big girl jeans. Another pair. These are just my size. Classic denim. And they're size 24 wide. Once again, big girl clothes sales. So. <laughs> I thought this was cute. It's a gun style, large grunt by grunt, large grunt style. This will be defended. So, and it has the bullets on the front, size matter, little wear there, but I like it. So hopefully we'll get something for at least $15, 10 or $15 at least. Next, we have, um, I put it back and I grabbed it again. I put it back because the comps is kind of all over. This is an American Eagle hoodie and has the American Eagle on the sleeve. Really, really nice hoodie. So 
I decided to grab it. And we'll sell it plus shipping, about $20 plus shipping. Okay, let's see what we got here next. We almost done, guys. Okay, Dance Skin Now, Pullover Active Wear. I looked this up. This one had sold for $15.99 just recently, so I grabbed it. Okay, and it's a zip front, quarter zip front, long sleeves. Semi fitted, large, 12, 14. Okay, now, I found these regular length, um, the Park Avenue Investments Couture, Park Avenue Fit, straight leg, it's blue. They're not black, they're blue. New with tags, slacks. These were nice, these are nice. They were selling for $24.99. So we grab them. New with tags. Almost done. We're almost done. Uh, wallflower tie dye. We found this one. It was wallflower. Never heard of them. Wallflower tie-dye. A lot of this stuff I've never heard of. Um, but, and it's an extra large. And they were selling for $14.99. So we grabbed it. It's very thin. Nice and light, especially for the summer. Oh my God. And we found this fossil handbag. These are selling for $24 and $30. Very nice fossil handbag. I have a fossil um, purse. So I had to get it. I'm like, this, this bag is in great shape. I'm going to clean the inside out because it needs to be washed out on the inside. But there's no damage to this at all other than needing to be cleaned out. And also, we found this vintage purse here. Um, it is, it needs to be cleaned, which she will be. She is a Eaton Anger. Ang Anger or something. E T I E N N E A I G N E R. So I pulled her up and I looked it up and it's vintage. And I'm like, oh, I have to have this. It is, um, sell through rate is great. I can get at least $24 for this vintage purse. And last but not least, the Sentinese Buddy uh, Red Bear. Selling for, I think it was $24, new with tags. So, that's it. That is our haul uh, for today. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And come along with me on my reselling journey. Um, I will be going to thrift stores, yard sales, and all that. I started, a, a, you look, I'm going to add up here in the right-hand corner. I'm going to put uh, thrifting that I went 
on to a city, to the city of Douglasville. They had a yard sale where people can go. I didn't purchase anything that day because I got there and realized I didn't have no cash on me, but you'll get to see what it's like um, thrifting. And as always, remember, peace, love, and happiness is the only way to live. Bye for now, and I'll talk to you later.